So when you move to the UAE, you are required to get your documents attested. The UAE Ministry of Education need your university degree, your high school or secondary school, and your college degrees, um, all your education basically, uh, to be attested, which means verified and checked. The first time I went to the UAE, I, pay, I paid a company to just do it all for me. Um, I was based in Wales, um, where I am right now, Sony Wales. I think it cost me about near enough 200 pounds per document. I only had to get my university degree attested, so it was 200 pounds. I wasn't really sure what the process was, so I just paid the money, they got it done for me, it got sent back and I was ready to go. This time, however, um, I've been asked to get my university degree, which is already done from last time, so I can use that my high school and my further education, so college. Obviously, if I paid 200 pounds a document with the company, it would add, it would add up, so like you're looking at 400, 500 pounds with all the extra charges. So I decided to do it myself. Now, because I was based in London, it was much easier. So this is how I did it, and it actually cost me very little. Number one, you need to find a solicitor or a notary public. I found a notary public who was actually a friend of a friend, so it was very lucky, so I didn't actually pay anything for that. Um, and all they do is take a copy of your documents, they need to look at the original, they look at a copy, and they sign the copy, and they say, this is a certified copy, and they sign it, they put their address and their phone number on. Then you take those documents, I think that usually costs about I don't know, some solicitors or notary publics can, can charge you about 50 pounds for this. It's literally a quick signature on each of the documents. Um, if you know a family friend or a friend of a friend, you could probably get it done for free because it takes literally a minute um, of their time. Number two is you want to take those documents to the UK Foreign and Commonwealth Office, FCO. They will basically check it over, they'll make sure that it's certified by that solicitor in the previous step, and then they'll send it back to you. It's not based in London, it's based in Milton Keynes now, so I had to send mine via post. I think you have to pay about five pound to return it, um, they send it back to you, or you can collect. Um, if you live near Milton Keynes, then obviously go direct there, it's really easy. And then, so once you've got them back, so you've had the solicitor, you've had the um, FCO, the Foreign and Commonwealth Office. Now the final step is taking it to the UAE Embassy in London, which is near the Royal Albert Hall. So you get off at South Kensington, walk up the road. There's a fair wait if it's busy. You literally hand over, I think it's 33 pounds a document for educational documents. They sign it, they say come back later or come back tomorrow. Come back tomorrow, come back tomorrow. I spent my whole life coming back tomorrow. Um, it takes a fair while. Now the final step I will do when I get to the UAE. It basically involves taking it to the, the ministry in the UAE. So I'll worry about that when I get there. So just as a recap, when you're in the UK, and you need to get your educational documents attested for work in the UAE, you need to get a solicitor or a notary public, they need to sign it. Then you need to go to the UK Foreign and Commonwealth Office, which is in Milton Keynes, or you can send it obviously by post. And then you need to go to the UAE Embassy, which is in South Kensington. I hope that helps. Um, I'll put all the links below so you can click on the website that you need to go on. I'll put it into step one, two, and three. Um, I hope that helps. Obviously, if you're not in London, it becomes a bit more difficult. You can post it down yourself, or you can obviously pay. Um, there's like uh, Vista Apostle, there's Hague, there's loads of different companies who, who do it. I'm not gonna link those below, because I do believe it's cheaper to do it yourself, um, if you have the time over the summer holidays. Okay, cheers.